over again. I'm going to speed things up a little bit to probably not bore you as much. Okay, you see I switched over to the arrows because I ran out in Tender Shurikens. A couple of things that may help with these flying dragon fights is I tend to run around in circles because the dragons are going to be shooting their fireballs at me in a linear pattern, so running in circles makes it more difficult for them to hit. Now I've replenished my health. I'm going to restock my Incendiary Shurikens. I'm going to show you how to restock the arrows. It took me a little bit of time to figure this out, but you have to go outside, come back in before it allow you to restock your arrows. So use that to your advantage, get all your projectiles restocked, save, and let's get ready out for the next fight. Before we get to the next fight, I want to show you where a dead body is that contains a devil mushroom. My first couple runs I missed it until I started exploring a lot more. I don't know if some of you have missed it before, but this has a body with a devil mushroom, so unfortunately you can't exchange it for essence. So you, this chapter gives you free use of your one of your devil mushrooms. If you need more to restock, here's your chance. So basically you get up the stairs, you run to your right, wall run, and then you find the uh, devil mushroom. Next fight coming up is a little bit of a pain. I'm going to show you a way that will hopefully make it easier. You're going to use the building walls to protect yourself from the flying fire breathing dragons and you're just going to take care of the van gals first and then when you're done you're going to take care of the the dragons now usually this ut will kill them but it didn't so i'm going to jump toss a couple incendiary shurikens run around the corner to keep the dragons away and start my ut chaining now it's good to get the essence staggered if you can if you can't it's not a huge deal because these guys are only going to be coming at you a couple at a time now, staying on the opposite side from the dragon is going to make a huge difference because those are the ones that will just eat away your health the most. They'll guard break you all the time, and these guys, the Van Gals, will take significant advantage of it. So it's the same old, same old. By now, you should be getting pretty used to it. Now, you can see the fire-breathing dragon right over there, so I'm going to want to jump onto this side and just make sure you watch them out of the corner of your eye. Stay out of the way from them and do this over and over again. Now you see right there, I now have my essence staggered, so it's just going to be easy. ET after ET, and hopefully by now you've got this on landing 360 charge down really good, because it sure is a lifesaver. Now that we've taken care of all the Van Gels, let's take care of the fire-breathing dragons. So a lot of different ways you can attack these guys. You can jump and toss incendiary shurikens. They're low enough where your Lunar UT will oftentimes connect. Stay behind the walls, jump out from the walls and toss your incendiary shurikens. Jump back behind the walls is another great way to do it. Just make sure none of them sneak up behind you. But again, use the walls to, to shield yourself. You can also do jump XXY with a Lunar. You can do flying swallows with a dragon sword. There's a lot of different attacks you can do. So these guys should be pretty simple. Just if there's a lot of them spamming projectiles at you, make sure you use the walls for protection. Now since this fight is extremely boring, I'm going to speed up and get to the end part. Okay, that Lunar UT missed, so let's show you a Lunar UT that connects. So I get my blue essence, and here we go. It doesn't take too many hits from Lunar UT to kill him, and there is an example of Lunar UT killing him pretty simply. Okay, so I'm going to show you a couple more. Arrow UT right here, and then uh, jump XXY with the Lunar. Doesn't take too many hits with that, to, with the jump XXY with the Lunar to kill him, and there's another one. Here's an example of how to use the walls for your advantage. So there, they stop the projectiles, shoot them a couple times, roll behind the wall, let the wall protect you from the projectiles, and just repeat over and over again. Now right there, I just missed the roll, so I had to do a couple rolls to get back. And that's as easy as that. Okay, almost gone. So let's just take care of the last few here. That UT took out two of them. One more left. Okay, now all we got to do, run back, replenish your health, and save. I'd like to thank you for watching, and we'll see you in Chapter 4C.